Okay, I am trying something that I've seen other people do a lot. I am doing a live video. Um, I've kind of held off on doing this before. Here's a belly, by the way. There's never a time that I don't have a dog on me, but I am embarrassed to do these sometimes because I always have like hay in my hair and I wear the same beat up t-shirts all the time. And um, every now and then I clean up <laughs> for a date or whatever with my husband. But um, so a couple of updates. Um, Eli, the white dog with blue eyes, he is wonderful. I love him. Um, my battery saver just came on. Um, he is going to be a really good dog for somebody, I think, though it's too, I really believe in doing a thorough assessment. And, um, one thing, I haven't gone through all of his records yet, but he is definitely either a severe neglect or abuse victim. He, um, has what appears to be, instead of an ingrown collar, I have to use my hands when I talk, Instead of an ingrown collar, it looks like somebody huh, our dog, had tied something around his waist. And as he was growing, it tightened, like his skin grew around it, and they surgically removed it. So it looks like he's wearing a belt. That, to me, is kind of a warning. that Not warning, but I'm not going to adopt him out in two weeks. I am going to keep a really good eye on him and make sure he doesn't um, have any residual trauma or reactivity as a result of that. On the other hand, uh, Pharaoh, my prediction is that he will be adoptable in two or three weeks. Um, I'm gonna do all the standard dog testing and people testing and kid testing, and here's one of my kids right there, looking grumpy. <laughs> um, yeah, she's my... Hi. Hi. Yeah, I feel bad that I use my daughter for dog testing, but we do it in a very controlled manner, so don't think we just, like, throw her in a ring with the dogs and... <laughs> she's laughing over there. Um, but Pharaoh, okay, his original name was Buddy, the gigantic one. He is now about 100 pounds. He gained some weight, and... You have to see him in person. I'll get better videos, but he is definitely half Great Dane. Um, he's He looks like Scooby-Doo, but bicolored. Um, the other half, I'm thinking Labrador, or he has a very delicate face. Um, his lips kind of hang down like a, a Great Dane, but I don't know. I think Lab and maybe some Standard Collie. That would explain the more refined face that he has but his eyes glow the most beautiful yellow yellow gold against his black skin and something about the way he carries himself is i thought pharaoh immediately when i saw him i know it's kind of a cliche name but it, it's so him um i can't wait to get good videos like many malnourished dogs he's um his hair is reddish burnt looking and um he's gonna look beautiful after i get him well fed and he um he had heartworms but he had the hardcore treatment he's only 11 months old and he had full-blown heartworms um i feel like any dog born in texas without a good owner is definitely gonna have it uh, it's not i feel that way every stinking dog that i've gotten from texas has had it so we did fast kill, and um, he's coughing. He's not feeling so great, so that may be a delay in me adopting him. But when people see this dog uh, in good health and how he plays and how he interacts, I I have no doubt that there's not going to be massive demand for him. Update on Carmen: she is adoptable in uh, on July 19th, and anyone who doesn't get her is missing out. She is the ultimate family dog. One I would definitely keep if I had uh, the time and resources to give her all the love and attention that she deserves. Frank and Possum. Man, why? Nobody. They're just being ignored, and I don't understand it. I don't know if their colors aren't flashy enough, or 
if I'm not marketing them correctly, but they are so overlooked. It's been like four or five months and not a single query. And I just wish somebody would come out and meet them. Frank would be better for a very active person. Um, someone who walks a lot, jogs. He is a corgi, maybe beagle mix. I, I'm not exactly sure on that. Um, but he's definitely a corgi mix. He's got the dwarfism, but people love that. Um, his coloration is kind of brindle, but he's so cute in person. He's got this really tight curly tail and um, his hair is medium to long. He's got long hair on his tail and I'm going to post a lot more videos of him. He is super dog friendly. He needs to have a dog friend. Cats, yeah. um, poultry, kind of, eh, but Older kids, yes. Younger kids, he will occasionally jump and um, he could knock a younger kid down. Um, he's about 40 pounds, even though he looks smaller. So y'all know how that goes. Kids can fall back and get hurt. So um, please take a look at Possum and um, Frank and Possum because I don't know why they're being this overlooked. Reyna, I've got like seven or eight queries um inquiries about and i feel like she's going to be adopted very quick because she's a beautiful um full-blooded german shepherd and i've got another one of those coming in in two weeks um different coloration more sable but about the same size and um will be neutered so his name is matthias but apparent people told me that German Shepherds don't adopt here. That is not true. Um, people are only asking about Reyna and the puppies right now. So, And they're asking a lot. If I haven't gotten back to you, I will respond to you um, definitively with a, you know, a yes or a no. And I may get back to you and say they're already adopted because there's a lot. I have eight puppies left, well, seven. Um, we're keeping one for a bit. And I've got more than seven applications, so I'm gonna go in order and then, you know. But anyways, that is all I have to update. I'll do another horse update.